nipe nipe wanja wangu bana usikie <laughs> nilipokuja pwani uh, in uh, my second year yeah. that's 2019 uh, nikachaguliwa kama president okay. eh? uh, na pia after nimechaguliwa kama president pale pwani mm-hmm. ile mwezi wa 4 pafika mwezi wa 6 tarehe 28 kama leo okay uh, mwaka jana mm-hmm nikachaguliwa kama the president of the Kenya Union of Students Organizations ambao ni wanafunzi wote Kenya nzima hakuna university sije kanyaga hakuna university organization okay. ambao sije support ambayo am yet to hand over with that one now am yet to hand over so i'm still the president of the Kenya Union of Students Organization to date at i even did a statement to date uh, to the national platform neto new congress forum of of uh, not of the elections that we we'll likely to have after corona mm-hmm. ili ni hand over office wengine nao endelee wakana funzo akisema ni waendeleze hivyo hivyo tutaendelea. Yeah. Eh, bana <laughs> eh, ongera sana. Nashukuru bana. Hebu tupatie briefly vile siku yako unia, jamaa ameamka mm. paka kwenda kulala. Inakuwaje hapa katikati? Mimi bro mm-hmm. mara mingi sana mimi every three mm-hmm. minutes to three mm-hmm. hapo huwa nimeamka every day hata leo. Yes. Minutes to three. Yes. Hata nikataka nimejaribu kutaka sometimes ni extend lakini nashindwa. Mm-hmm. Ni kitu ambacho nilijifundisha nikiwa nikiwa primary school, okay. nikija ingia secondary school, mm-hmm. nilikuwa nayo culture sana ya 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 kurauka asubuhi nikifanya fanya mavitu fulani. Naam. So mimi bana nikiamka three mara mingi sana nachukua muda kidogo na na reflect yes. kwanza nafanya meditation kidogo nafikiria vile kumekuwa. Naam kiria vile kunaenda hmm. kama labda nilikuwa nimepata ndoto fulani ambayo pia ina umuhimu kidogo na jaribu kunote kidogo hmm. alafu kitu kingine ambao lazima nifanye kwanza kabisa nikiweka guu chini huwa kama saa kumi hapo sasa hmm. lazima niombe kwanza namshukuru Mungu mimi for the record bana um, I'm a committed Christian sure. uh, naomba nikishamaliza kuomba najiombea mimi mwenyewe naombea siku yangu naombea wazazi wangu bana naombea ndugu zangu naombea ndugu zangu pia wale ambao wamenipa wadhifa wa uongozi naombea hata wale maadui zangu pia e, kwa sababu wajua Mungu bana ndiye anagawanya hizi baraka baraka e, so thereafter i get to to read books e, lazima nipitie pitie mavitabu fulani i have very many books biographies and a lot of stuff e, ni pita pia tipitie kidogo by 5 hapo mm-hmm. uh, i get to shower okay yeah kama nitakuwa na siku ndefu away from home i have to do a heavy meal okay. uh, for the morning so after nimeshawa nimepiga pasi kama ni nguo nitavaa official uh, ama nimetarisha tu ile nguo nitavaa alafu mi naenda na set ugali kidogo bana eh, ikifika by 6 hapo mi tayari nimechapa nime ni sima yangu fresh Eh, alafu natoka home inategemea lakini ni, na ile activity ambayo labda nitakuwa naifanya kama ni ya kurauka sawa sure. uh, for example kama mambo ya shule nini na nini on a weekday hapo yeah. strictly i have to go by that sure. kama ni mambo ya mikutano the same lakini mara mingi sana kama siko shule kwa mfano kama saa hii mm. uh, i get out of the house every 8 am eh kabisa ifika 8 am i do a lot of stuff hapo kwa nyumba kupanga panga makazi kuangalia vile jana ilienda vile vitu ambavyo lazima nifanye masimu masimu ku respond kwa messages za jana ambazo labda nilileta siku siku sijibu eh uh, alafu at, by 8 hapo i leave the house yeah sure uh, and uh, on your social media yeah. i mean mitandao yako ya kijamii ulitangaza kwamba unataka kuwania kiti cha au senator mwaka 2022 uh, je huo bado ni msimamo wako ama sijatangaza uh, nafikiri hakuna mtandao wangu wa kijamii <laughs> Tulipitia uh, kitu kama hicho tukaona uh, 2022 kuna watu, mm. watu wamesema. Okay. Uh, kuna watu wamesema. Wewe ulikutana na hizi post hata Nime, wewe nimekutana na hizo post na. lakini for the record kwa mtandao wangu wa kijamii hakuna yeah. mahali hata pamoja. Okay. Mbapo nimesema mimi na tafuta kiti. I'm a smart politician. Okay. Uh, again I'm a student of political philosophy. <laughs> I cannot go outside nikaanza kusema mimi uh, natafuta hivi ama natafuta vile. Unajua mm. baya ni wengi bana. Lakini yes. nimeona majamaa wame wameandika yes to me i took it positively okay. japo pia imeniletea marafiki wapya imeniletea okay. pia maadui wapya because kila mmoja bro anaweza akasikia raha bwana kama unaendelea sure. unaona sure. uh, mimi siko different in dunia iko hivyo hata Yesu mwenyewe alifanya mambo mengi lakini si hivyo hivyo jamaa walimtema tu but generally are you, are you are you ready to take the post since people requested 
Uh, no, by now I'm here to make a proper decision. I think that question is better answered at a later date. Okay. Yes. Hivi tukizungumzia CJ, tujue kwa kifupi labda akona bibi, ama akona mtoto. Na kama bado ni lini unapanga kufanya hii mikakati? Bosi mimi, kwanza kabisa sija owa. Naam. Pili, mimi sina mtoto. I'm morally upright, so to say. Kupanga tarea kuhua bana. Ojua bibili ya bosi nasema mkimwema bana natoka kwa mungu. Na mimi mungu wangu haja nipa mkimwema. Sasa siyezi kwambia nitaoa tare fulani ya wakati fulani. Lakini matumaini yangu mimi ni kwamba punde tu ni kimaliza shule hopefully 2022. Sita chukua mda mrefu sana. Mutataka niyowe kwa sababu mimi nimetaka niishi maisha tofauti kidogo na vile mbavo labda tulelewa kwa sababu. Yes. Wajua ni meona wazazi wetu sana wengi hapa. Naamu. Ni hile unapata mseyu kwa kama 50-40. Nona? Alafu ndo wameowa. Yes. Kasa mtoto mazee nda mefika hile time ya kwamba nataka I enjoy love ya Buda. Alafu Buda mazee umri umeenda. Wajua anafokus na vitu zake. Unona? Sasa mimi nimetaka nisi, nisimalize sana ujana wangu okay. niwe na, na ni Mungu anisaidie ni owe nipate watoto angalio pia i initiate them into what i love pia nao niwe na wakati wa kuangalia what they love doing ile ni wamente wafanye vile vitu ambavyo pia inaweza zikawafaa kabla mimi ni niingie sasa kwa retirement kwa sababu baada ya muda wa revolution na chokesha boss nimepigwa muda mrefu sana maskari <laughs> wakati fulani nitachoka nita, nitataka ni hand over hii maneno kwa watu wengine okay. yeah na katika uh, umezungumzia mambo mengi sana kuhusu <coughs> politics uh, that means you get along with uh, uh, i mean uh, una, una, una jamiana na watu sana kwenye kwele, jamii kwele. sasa tukizungumzia kuhusu jamii unadhani ni mambo gani au matatizo gani yanakumbana au wanajamii wanayakumba sana endapo wamechagua kiongozi ambaye sio sahihi uh, wajua ndugu yangu mm-hmm. mimi nimeunga mkono sana shughuli zote za kijamii okay. za kujaribu kuona kwamba tunapata uongozi unaotufaa lakini hata katika kusukuma jambo kama lile ni muhimu hasa yes. kwa rekodi watu waelewe kwamba kuna jukumu la kiongozi na kuna jukumu la mpiga kura okay. kabla ya uchaguzi jukumu la mwananchi kikatiba ni kwamba lazima uende upige kura hilo ni jukumu it's a responsibility of a Kenyan citizen to vote. Lakini baada ya kupiga kura wajua kuna vitu vingi sana ambazo sisi wenyewe tumekosa kuvifanya. Kuna kwa political science kuna kitu inaitwa representation. Okay. Na kuna aina mbili za representation. Hmm. Kuna the delegate delegate model na trustee model. Okay. Delegate model ni ile ya kwamba ya Thomas Paine. Mm-hmm. Unasema kwamba bora umechagua kiongozi sasa yeye haezi fanya kitu mpaka aje aseme sasa mabwana yeah. kuna hivi na hivi mwasemaje mm. unasema wewe enda hivi enda hivi yani mmemchagua kama delegate wenu akawawakilishe mm. uh, model ya pili uh, ni ile trustee model ile kwamba bora wewe tumekuchagua sasa sisi tumekaa wewe kafanya kila kitu kizuri kibaya utakavyoviona huko mbele fanya mimi nimeona trustee model ndo jamii yetu imetumia mm-hmm. na ni kitu kibaya sana mimi nashukuru sana wale wanafunzi wote. Hakuna siku alinichagua na wakaniacha nikaenda. Wale jamaa mimi narudi kwao na wao nao wako tuko pamoja nami. Hata wakati wakaenda demonstration, waliingia wenyewe shule. Mimi nilikuwa nimetulia hapa Ocean Restaurant ni kinywa chai. Jamaa anasema njoo bana. Wanasema wewe bana tunajua 13 times umeenda fanya consultation admin hoja kusikiza. Sasa si we are ready to go. Wenyewe. Unasikia bana? Sasa jamii yetu kubwa sana imekosa kujua majukumu ya mwananchi okay. kwanza mm-hmm. jukumu la mwananchi kwa uongozi kwanza ni kushiriki ile mpangilio ambayo iko pale kwanza mm-hmm. pili jukumu la pili la mwananchi mm-hmm. ni kutoa ile kitu inaitwa social accountability mimi wengi wame mistake kama politician mimi for the i'm not a politician my friend unasikia i'm a student of political philosophy philosophy minoring in political science well lakini i'm not i'm far from being a politician mimi I'm pushing I'm more of an activist. Me I'm pushing for the well-being of the society. Wasikia? Lakini wajua jamii yetu kitu moja wasi mkushangaze. 
Hapa wewe hata ukikaa na wazazi wako kwa familia tu ina family meeting. Alafu mtu fulani ongea opinion fulani wewe upinge. Utasikia mtu anakuritika sana ah wewe nayo acha siasa. Unasikia? So kwetu siasa ni kama ni kitu kibaya sana. Siasa ni kitu kizuri kwa sababu hicho ndio kinatufanya sisi tuendelee. Unasikia? Lakini mimi si mwana siasa binafsi. Mimi nimejitambua kama mwanaharakati ambaye natetea wema wa jamii. Na huenda nipate uongozi wa kisiasa but haitamaanisha kwamba mimi ni mwana siasa. Unasikia ba? Uh, jamii yetu inafaa iwe karibu na viongozi tunachagua. Usichague kiongozi alafu ukaachana naye boss. Wajua mambo mengi hii mambo ya kwamba kuna wongo, viongozi wabaya nini na nini inatokana tu mali simple. Jamaa amekuja wakati wa election. Unaona hata jana nilisema kwa radio Rahma. Mayuto wana complain wanasema tutafanyaje tutoe viongozi wabaya. Lakini the same youth ikifika time elections bro wewe ukisimama na wao proper uh, alafu mimi nisimame na wao wewe ukiwa huna ajenda lakini uko na do mi niko na ajenda na sina do mm-hmm. wajua majamaa tu ukimbilia wewe unaona mm-hmm. after kupigwa kura sasa wewe kama wajua hakuna biashara kuna biashara moja hii dunia bwana haina kukopeshana mm-hmm. ni biashara ya kuuza bangi nasikia huwezi kopesha mtu bangi kwa sababu anaweza vute alafu ukianza kumdai jamaa kupigi huwezi enda mripoti unaona kwa sababu kimripoti washikwa wewe kwa biashara haramu hiyo eh unaona bwana <laughs> haina ha, kukopeshana sasa siasa ni kama biashara ya bangi mm-hmm. Huwezi chukua pesa kwangu ndugu yangu ndio nipigie kura mm-hmm. alafu baada ya kura utarajie kwamba mimi nitakujali nitakujali namna gani kwa hivyo watu lazima wapate elimu ya kwamba kama tunataka jamii zetu zisonge mbele ndugu yangu ni lazima tuwe na uwezo wa kwamba tu tu, 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 tu thamini sana uh, ile mifumo ya kiongozi mm-hmm. kweli uh, kama zile uh, nilipokuuliza swali la kugombania useneta 2022 uh-huh. Sisi binafsi tulikutana na ile post. Kweli kweli. Fahamu? Uh-huh. Unadhani Gavana King aje kukutana na post kama ile na endapo alikutana nayo, uh-huh. ashawahi wasiliana na wewe kuhusiana hilo swala ama ashawahi kukukontact kukupatia uh, ushauri wowote? Uh, Gavana King hmm. hajawahi kuniuliza mambo kama hayo. Uh-huh. Na mara nyingine huongea siasa siku moja moja kwa sababu uh-huh. unajua niko na historia kwamba uh-huh kuna wakati kidogo tulipelekana mbio wale mabwana mm. kwa sababu ya vitu fulani vilikuwa vinaenda makosa hapa mm-hmm. hatuna uhuru sana wa kuzungumza ambition yangu sije kuwa na uwezo wa kuzungumza na yeye ambition yoyote lakini hata mbali na kwamba si kutangaza mimi kwamba natafuta kiti mm-hmm. huenda alipatana na hizo habari kwa sababu ni governor wa hapa mm-hmm. ni sharti labda Kutana yuko na intelligence yeah. yake mm-hmm. lakini ukweli wa Mungu ni kwamba hajaniita labda akanambia hiki na kile ijapo Eh, bwana mmoja ambaye labda nitasema alipatana na hiyo post na akatuma watu mm. ni yule senator wa sasa hivi. Naam. Mm. Anaitwa Mazayo. Naam. Mm. Uh, Mazayo na mimi ni marafiki wakubwa sana. Mm. Sana. Uh, yeye ana uwezo wa kwenda nyumbani kwetu Bamba, kwenda salimia babangu na mamangu hata kama mimi niko kilifi. Mm-hmm. Bila hata kunambia mimi. Mm-hmm. Na mimi karibu weekend mingi sana naenda kwake, tuenda chuma mahindi pale kwake pale kana mai. Mm-hmm. E, nafikiri yeye alipoona ile kuna watu aliwatuma wakaja lakini wajua hawakuja kwa njia poa mm-hmm. unaona e, yambo ambalo pia lilinishangaza sana mm-hmm. sababu ni jamaa ambaye kwa miaka tumekaa amenipa ile impression ya kwamba ananiombea mazuri sana mm-hmm. na hata ijapo haikuwa kutoka kwa mdomo wangu kwamba natafuta mm-hmm. kiti mm-hmm. sikutazamia kwamba hata baada ya kuona post kama zile mm-hmm. kwa mtandao ambaye yeye ni jaji na hata anajua katika mahakama hakuna ushahidi kwa njia ya Facebook kwa kwa njia ya WhatsApp hawezi kubaliwa <coughs> lakini inashangaa yeye ni kama alichukulia with seriousness and with a lot of negativity akatuma watu waje wanikumbushe kwamba yeye ni rafiki yangu na sifai kuchukua hatua hiyo mm-hmm. nikasema mimi sikuwahi kufanya kitu kama hicho lakini hata hivyo uh, yale wale wanishiriki ni afanya nikaona ni magumu nikaona tu ndugu yangu najua ye sidhani kama yeye ni rafiki yangu kwa sababu kuna mambo mabaya anamfanyia. Mm. Rafiki yangu kwa sababu mimi nilikuwa strategist wa kampeni yake ya 2017 mm-hmm. kwa sababu nilikuwa kwa main secretariat ya ODM iko hapa juu. Mm. Na pia nilimsaidia mahali pakubwa. So mimi nilikuwa chief agent wa ODM Ganza constituency. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa chief uh, uh, campaigner pia wa ODM Ganza constituency. Mm-hmm. Na pia nilikuwa chief witness wa zile case ambazo zilihusiana na Ganza constituency petition mm-hmm. kwa court of appeal pale Malindi. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo nilimsaidia kipande kubwa na sidhani nilimsaidia kwa sababu sina value nilimsaidia kwa sababu aliona thamani kwangu sasa 
alipoambia kwamba niachane na hii mambo sijui nitoe press ni semi staff kit na wakati mimi sijasema natafuta kit nikawa na wasi ni mtu ambaye ule urafiki wa kwamba tuna tunatembea na yeye ni kama haniombei mazuri sana Naam. hata hivyo sikutaka kulizungumzia waziwazi hili lakini unajua nimeona tu nieleke wazi kwa sababu Uh, nafikiri ni vitu ambavyo nitakuja waeleza ama vijana huku nje uh -huh. kwamba ama jamaa tunazunguka nao bro usione kwamba kuna jamaa anakuazia mema kule uh -huh. so ukimagine mzee yuko almost 8 years amekuwa almost everything in this country sijasimama nikamtaja vibaya hata siku moja uh -huh. ni watu tu wamesema fikirini hawaja mtukana hata yeye mwenyewe eh alafu mtu kama mimi I'm, I've, I've only celebrated my 25th birthday yesterday uh -huh. just yesterday sasa mimi i'm still a young man rising up the ladder boss I need to, to have my space to grow. Kwa hivyo nikaona nikaeka urafiki hapa na kukua kwangu kwa philosophy kuna statement imeandikwa na jamaa mmoja anaitwa Immanuel Kant kwa kitabu inaitwa The Critique of Pure Reasoning. Kwamba it's not the object that causes the representation. It is the representation that causes the object. It's my influence that causes the friendship, not the friendship that causes my influence. So, I prefer my influence intact. Okay. Yes. If he withdraws himself from the friendship, maybe I wish all the, him all the best. Hebana, <laughs> yes. Ah, shukran sana mwanangu yeah. kwa kukuja katika uh, TV yetu. Mshukuru. Na tumefurahi sana kupata maneno mawili matatu. Mshukuru. Ah, uh, tazama pale katika uh, kamera yetu. Kweli. Mwadvise chochote yule anayekutazama. Mimi uh, comrades and friends baba. Naam. Mimi acha nimwambie kitu moja kabisa. <laughs> wazi wazi yani. Mimi mm -hmm. yale yote mmesikia kuhusu fikirini, mmesikia kuhusu nani? Naam. Mimi acha niwaambie majamaa. Mimi tofauti ya wewe na mimi, wewe ambaye bado umekaa, unazungumza ukiwa kwa comfort ya nyumba yako, Naam. ni ile hujaona tu ile what awaits you in future. Status quo, vile hali iko bro, you are not favored by this world my friend. Ni ujitolee ungangane. Fight for your right. Throw one stone my friend and send a bad feeling to the evil one. Unasikia? Sasa ukisimama uh, dunia inaenda hivi wewe una kritiki tu uh, majamaa huyu uko hivi, huyu uko hivi. Najua jamii yetu iko hivyo, jamaa kijitolea wasikia majamaa ah yule jamaa naye mta kuonekana, yule yuko hivi. Lakini mimi acha niwaambie kitu moja jamaa. For example, ile kitu ambayo mimi nanifanya nikiamka asubuhi bana na ngangana ni kwa sababu katika maisha yangu mimi ile huduma nzuri naweza nikampa Mungu mimi sababu kubwa ya kwamba nimezaliwa si kwamba labda nitaenda niombe wagonjwa si kwamba labda nitaenda Ujerumani ama wapi South Africa nikahubiri njili lakini ni kwamba hata huduma moja ambayo mtumishi wa Mungu bana Elijah katika Biblia ni kusimama na wanyonge na mimi nasimama na wanyonge 24/7 bila malipo ya mtu na si kwamba nitapata uh, thawabu yoyote kwa mwanadamu Mungu nikifika siku ya mwisho akisema ilikuwa ni kitu kizuri nafanya nikipata thawabu sawa. Ikifika siku ya mwisho nikiambiwa kwamba ilikuwa ni kitu kibaya pia sawa lakini cha msingi majamaa lazima tushikane mikono. Tuteteane vilivyo 24/7. Kitu ya pili ambao nataka niwaambie mavijana. Angalia leo dunia ya leo bro. Leo hata leo nilikuwa naambia rafiki yangu mmoja nilikuwa naongea na yeye. Nilikuwa naombea angalia kabla mseme fikirini bana anapiga makelele fikirini yuko hivi fikirini yuko hivi wewe umesoma ama hujasoma hii dunia ya leo ina nafasi ikupe ina inastahili ikupe nafasi huo unaweza kufanya kibarua iwe unaweza ukafanya biashara iwe unaweza ukapata kibarua uh, rasmi unasikia kila ambacho labda umeenda ukahitimu chuone lakini dunia ya leo the status quo inakukataa kwa sababu babako hajulikani na mtu kwa sababu mamako hajulikani na mtu kwa sababu babu yako hata kile kitu watu wanajua ni kwamba labda alikuwa mchawi ama alikuwa mpigaji ngoma sogora unaona mambo kama hayo tu unasikia sasa bro kitambo uinuke mpaka utambulike mahali lazima you oppose the status quo ndo maana unaona mimi ile mwaka ni celebrate jana nilisema this year mimi hii mwaka yangu sasa hii it is an year of action against the status quo mimi i'm opposing the current of status quo status quo ni beti mugo sio alikuwa nani mia waziri miaka ya kibaki miaka nini Leo hii tena unaamka asubuhi mtu amekuwa amechaguliwa mahali. Simon Nyachae SG jamaa alikuwa waziri amekuwa ni kila kitu hii dunia. Unaamka asubuhi amechaguliwa mahali. Umeamka tena muda wa ora 1991 chaguliwa. Sasa hivi karibu 93 anasimamia the Ministry of Sports ya mavijana. 
Alafu wewe uko hapo unacheza mpira hapo Uganda ama unacheza mpira hapo Kibaoni, unasema hii future mzee ina place nzuri na wewe. Wakati jamaa yuko pale wewe hata ni kitu kuu chake. Hata hakujui kabisa kama kuna mtu kama wewe. Kitambo yeye aje hapa labda ni apitie mikononi mwa madaktari kwa sababu amegonjeka, amezeeka. Unasikia bwana? Mimi jamaa namwambia kama mtaendelea nyinyi mtachagua kwenda ile njia ambayo dunia inaenda nyinyi endeni jamaa lakini mimi i will oppose the current because this world i believe this world must have a better place for me and this place will not be given to me in a broad daylight peace does not come to the strugglers just for the sake of it ndo maana yule jamaa akasema uh, Martin Luther peace is not voluntarily given to the oppressors I mean to the to the oppressed by the oppressors. It must be given, it must be demanded by the oppressed. Majama lazima msimame, mpiganie, mtetee vitu. Si kwamba hata ukatukane mtu, si kwamba hata ukatusi mtu ama ufanye kitu kibaya mtu pana, lakini jua haki yako, simama na ukweli, tetea haki yako. Mimi namwambia, if you love the truth, the truth will set you free as the Bible says. Na mbali na kwamba it will set you free hii ukweli ndio itakuinua ukweke mahali fulani. Unaweza ukataseka miaka mingi sana lakini kitu ambacho itakusaidia. Na nikimalizia kabisa mjua wa mafijana bana mimi nimeona sana kitu ambayo inatutatiza. Uh, kitu ambayo inatutatiza kubwa sisi majamaa tunalia kweli. Eh uh, jamaa fulani bana anatutambia hapa labda governor amekunyanyasa, president ametunyanyasa, nani ametunyanyasa. Lakini mimi na support philosophy ya jamaa anaitwa Uh, honorable Marcus Mosaya Gavi yule alitengeneza UNIA ambayo ni Universal Negro Improvement Association in the 14th of August 1918 for the betterment of the negro the black person in America na mimi nataka niwaambie kabla tupige hii hatua jamaa tuka complain ama tukalilie serikali ama tukafanyie nini na nini kwa mtu fulani lazima sisi wenyewe jambo la kwanza tujifunze kupendana Usiruhusu jirani yako atoke akaombe msaada kwa MCA na wewe una uwezo kumsaidia ndugu yangu. Tukisaidiana namna hiyo ndio hata tulipata msaada mkubwa si mfichi. Tutakuwa na uwezo wa kusaidia. Ndio maana Marcus Gavi akasema, I have heard for a long time what the white man is doing to the negro. But please tell me what the negro is doing to himself. I have heard in our context what the national government is doing to the county government. But tell me what the county government is doing to itself. I have heard what the common Kenyan is suffering from the county government. But tell me what the common Kenyan is doing to himself. I have heard how the youth is unemployed. But tell me today what the youth is doing to himself. So my jamaa, mimi nawaambia, lazima tupendane. Tupendane. Tuache ile taasubi ambayo iliachwa na wazungu hapa na wale wa vile wetu waliokwenda kitambo ba. Self hate. Ukiona jamaa anafanya kitu fulani, support that idea my friend. Mimi siwezi kuwa kama wewe kama mimi nakuombea uendelee wewe niombee pia nini endelee kule ambako naweza kwa sababu kwa njia moja ama nyingine utanihitaji ama mimi nitakuhitaji unasikia bwana kwa hivyo majamaa for example hao jamaa wameanza hii initiative ya Chad TV we give them the support they require they are fellow youth they cannot be like you they cannot be contractors like you eh? they cannot be favored because they don't have a name like some of you people ili waajiriwe if they can do this The only way you can do is to help them and support them. Nasikia bwana. Na mwisho wa siku tutazidi kuinuana. Asante na Mungu awabariki sana. Ah, uh, thank you so much for the share with mm -hmm. the word of hope, sure. word of encouragement. And uh, some of those people watching there would like to get in touch to you sure. through your social media handles. Yeah. It would be very nice if you share your social media handles to them so that they can get to get uh, in touch with you. Read whatever you write on your social media and get inspired on a daily basis. Sure. Yeah so you can share your social media handles Mimi yeah. Mimi I have uh, four social media yeah, sure. uh <coughs> active social media handles yeah. mm -hmm. One is uh Instagram Nam <coughs> Fikrini Jacobs sure. uh Twitter at Fikrini underscore Jacobs sure. and uh Facebook wajua <laughs> makombres bana wajanja au majamaa eh Ukienda Facebook sasa hivi ukiangalia Fikrini Jacob unapata account kama kumi. Mhm. Unajua ni makombres tu wanajitengenezea ili wapate majama following ya haraka haraka alafu abadilishe jina. Lakini naelewa, naelewa mimi sina shida na wao. Lakini ile na uzuri pia hawatumii kufanya mambo mabaya kuzunguza. They don't transact any bad business. All public figures 
Kwa ni watu wanainspire watu na nadhani wanaweza ya. So nikaona hana haja kufukuza nao majamaa kotini sijui nini na nini no. Ile kitu nilisema tu so long as uh, you are growing up you have, you have to encounter this. Unasikia? Sure, sure. Sasa ile real Facebook uh, account yangu I have two active Facebook accounts. Sure. One is a, a Facebook page okay. and one is a Facebook normal Facebook account. Okay. Facebook page yangu mimi inaitwa Hon Fikrini Jacobs. Hon to mean honorable. Okay. Honorable Fikrini Jacobs. Okay. Uh, alafu ile active account yangu ya Facebook mm. ni Fikrini Jacobs CDE. Okay. Yes. So, uh, ruthless focus. So, uh, yes. <laughs> so shukran sana kwa wewe ambaye unafuatilia kipindi cha What about me katika channel yetu ya uh, Chadi TV. Na tumeshukuru sana kukupata mgeni wetu na ukashare yale mawili matatu ambayo ulikuwa nayo kutueleza historia yako na wewe ambaye umetazama kipindi hicho unaweza kumfuata Fikrini Jacobs katika zile uh, handles ameza, ambazo ameweza kutupatia na tunaomba uweke subscribe yako hapa katika YouTube channel yetu ndio usiwache nyuma au sio keep it locked This disease is not this is a joke Chad TV. Kenyans must treat this matter with the seriousness he deserves, if we continue to behave normally, this disease will treat us abnormally. Uliwenu na yumba kiuchu mikisa ni corona Tumesalie kwa manyumba tujihami hii ni corona Haibagui kwa wadosi na mabanda kisa ni corona Na tuti tujito inji ya panda hii ni corona Mashamani hatu wendi ni corona